Also in British Columbia, the government extending its lockdown. Eagle News correspondent Jeanette Doiseau has the details. The provincial health officer of British Columbia has extended the province-wide restrictions on all events and social gatherings until February 5, 2021. As of the announcement of this extension, the province recorded 761 new cases of COVID-19. That makes active cases to 6,349, bringing the provincial total to 56,015 and 970 deaths due to COVID-19 since the beginning of the pandemic. As the number of new cases in the province and around the globe is increasing, Dr. Bonnie Henry stated the need for the extension for two incubation periods. Previously, public health orders were extended for 14 days at a time. Our public health orders for the next two incubation periods are important to ensure we are doing all we can to keep everyone in our province as safe as possible. The update consists of the guidelines previously published and some new details have been included in the restrictions. No social gatherings of any size at residences with anyone other than their own household or core bubble. In-person events and community-based gatherings are also suspended. Violators are subject to a fine of $2,000 upwards. Adult and youth indoor and outdoor team sports are put in temporary restrictions to limit the amount of physical and social interactions and travel to help reduce the spread of COVID-19. Regarding the mandatory use of face coverings in indoor public spaces, which was effective since November 24, 2020, face shields alone is not allowed as it has an opening below the mouth. There has been some changes as well in the policy with regards to long-term care facilities, including visitations and staffing. At the end, Dr. Bonnie Henry has this message for all British Columbians. The virus reminds us how interconnected we are, and we have seen this over the past year. This is a global pandemic. A variant that arises in the UK affects us. Surges in Quebec, in Ontario, in our neighbours, in Washington State and Alberta affect us. But our pandemic is unique and we know what we need to do in BC. This is our riskiest time right now. We cannot let our guard down as vaccine is just beginning. Right now, I want everybody to reach out virtually to support each other. We need to protect our seniors and elders even as we're moving along with our immunization program. But it's a time for each of us to commit to our own individual heroism, young and old. And I know we can do this. We can do this because it makes a difference for our family, for our community, and for our province. It's compassion and understanding that we need now to get us through these dark days. We need to continue to be kind to each other. We need to have that compassion to recognize we don't know everybody's story and to stay calm. And that's what will keep us safe through this winter. In British Columbia, Jeanette Toiseau, Eagle News. We live in interesting times.